Welcome to our video guide on the beautiful tropical island of Langkawi in Malaysia. In this video, we'll show you why it makes a perfect vacation spot for those that want to escape the hustle and bustle of Malaysia cities. Rice fields, palm trees, long sandy beaches and a unique ecosystem with exotic wildlife make it the perfect tropical island destination for those that want to do more than just relax on the beach. Watch our guide for inspiration on the Langkawi attractions that you can't miss, plus plenty of travel tips. We loved our time in Langkawi and this video will show you exactly why. Join us as we discover the Island of the Eagles. We're starting off our video with our favourite place to visit in Langkawi, Kilimanjaro Forest Park. This UNESCO protected nature reserve sits at the far northeast corner of Langkawi. It's a series of natural mangroves, beaches and dense forests, forming together to create a labyrinth of nature and wildlife. The best way to see the Geoforest Park is by boat. Boat tours depart from Tanjung Rue Pier throughout the day, taking you on a slow river cruise around the mangroves. During our tour, we saw wild eagles, monkeys, tropical birds, and the smaller creatures that make the mangrove their home. The quiet jungle scenery is breathtaking to look at, and you'll learn plenty of facts about Langkawi's biodiversity as you cruise down the river. There are several cruise operators available. However, we highly recommend choosing Jungle Walla Tours. They're an ethical tour that doesn't feed the animals, and they have some excellent guides and tour options. Take a look at the description to see the tour we booked and get your guide. Believe it or not, Langkawi is not one island, but an archipelago of 99 islands. The smaller islands to the south are some of the best places to visit in Langkawi for those that want a fun day out at sea. They're easily reachable by boat, or the more exciting option, a jet ski. Boat and jet ski tours leave for the islands of Dayang Bunting, Singa Besar, and Beras Basar every morning. They take you to the untouched beaches, lakes, coves, and amongst natural limestone cliffs. We opted for an exhilarating jet ski island hopping tour and enjoyed every minute. It's more expensive than the boat option, but it's completely unique. We spotted local wildlife such as eagles, birds and monkeys, but apparently you can sometimes encounter dolphins. Key stop off points on the tour are a large lake known as Pregnant Maiden Lake, various remote white sand beaches and a series of coves and inlets. Check our link in the description to see our tour option we booked through Kluk. If you like our video so far, be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the video. Langkawi Skycab Cable Car is currently ranked as the steepest cable car in the world, taking you on an exhilarating journey up the side of Matching Chang Mountain in around 15 minutes. It's Langkawi's number one attraction for good reason. On the cable car ascent, you'll get to experience some beautiful forest scenery with panoramic views of the south of Langkawi. At the top, there's a cool viewpoint and then a second cable car to take you to the summit. The whole Langkawi cable car experience is fun, scenic and will get your adrenaline pumping. We've been on a lot of cable cars and Langkawi was one of our favourites. Okay. 
At the top of the cable car ascent, you'll find Langkawi Skybridge. It's one of the world's longest curved suspension bridges, measuring 125 metres, and it provides stunning views of the valley below. You can take a small funicular transport down to the bridge from the cable car station. Alternatively, do what we did and walk down the 10 minute nature trail to the bridge. At the base of the Langkawi cable car, you find a small village known as the Oriental Village. You pass through the village to get to the cable car and sky bridge, but it's worth a visit in itself. It has a handful of attractions, including a red double-decker bus, the 3D art museum, and fun photo spots. It's also full of shops, drink stalls, and dining options. It's completely free to visit. Another attraction in the same area as a cable car is Langkawi 3D Art in Paradise. Entry is free when you show your Langkawi cable car ticket, so it's well worth a visit. We didn't have high expectations for the museum, but were pleasantly surprised and had a great time here. When you visit, you'll walk through a series of rooms where giant murals have been painted onto the walls, floors and ceiling, posing as unique photo spots. Position the camera and stand in the correct spot and you'll create a realistic looking 3D photo. Have fun checking out all 100 photo murals. Next on our list is Talaga Tuju Waterfall. Located in the Machinchang mountainside, right next to the cable car, Talaga Tujur is a series of waterfalls, nature trails and encounters with the local wildlife. It has various trekking routes around the base of the mountain, with the shortest route leading to the bottom of the waterfall. It's the best spot to see the waterfall in all its glory. You can also walk up the long staircase to the top of Talaga Tujur Falls. The summit of the hill has several bathing pools, a natural rock water slide, and a bridge that gives some nice views of the valley below. The trek can be a little challenging in the heat, but it's well worth a visit. We encountered many monkeys and birds on our way to the waterfall. The trek can be a little challenging in the heat, but it's well worth a visit. We encountered many monkeys and birds on our way to the waterfall. Next on our list is Tanjungru Beach. This peaceful, remote beach is right next to Kilim Geo Forest Park in the northeast of Langkawi. With calm shores and towering limestone cliffs jutting out of the sea in the distance, it's a perfect spot for a quiet beach day. Sunsets here are something special. Enjoy a coconut and admire the view from a beach bar, or hire a kayak for some island hopping. You can visit Tanjung Ru for the day or do what we did and stay at Tanjung Ru Resort for a couple of nights. The hotel is surprisingly affordable for a five star hotel in Langkawi and it has some of the best beach views we've ever seen. Check out the description box for a link to the hotel. Pantai Chenang is the most popular place to stay in Langkawi. It's a lot busier on an evening 
than other towns and has a lot more going on. Its long beach is a top spot for water sports, boat and jet ski tours to the islands and there are plenty of sun lounges you can hire. It also has a wide selection of bars and restaurants. Stop by in an evening to see Pan Tai Chinan come alive with music, street performers, fire shows, bars and night market stalls. It's also a popular place to shop. The main road is full of duty free shops selling everything from chocolate and gifts to clothing, accessories and homework. Pantai Tenga is a beach town just along the road from Pantai Chenang. It's a popular place to stay for families, couples and those that want a quieter beach resort experience compared to the livelier Pantai Chenang. Visit Pantai Tenga during the day for a relaxing beach experience. As there aren't many water sport providers on the beach, it's a quieter place to relax and enjoy the sea views. It also has some nice beach cafes and sunset bars. We stayed in the Riaz Lavagna Hotel in Pantai Tenga and highly recommend it. Last but not least is Eagle Square in the town of Kwa, where you'll find the iconic eagle statue. Go for a walk along the promenade and get up close to the giant, watchful eagle. That brings us to the end of our video and the best places to visit in Langkawi. There are a couple of attractions we would have liked to have seen but didn't have the time, but we'll certainly be back soon. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel and be sure to check out our other Malaysia travel videos. Thanks for watching.